Today, we're going to talk about Cradle to Grave right after this. Here I come to save the day. The Mighty House crew is on the job. This is Mighty House. All right, we're back. And uh, make sure you subscribe, click the bell, and you've got to, you want to leave a note down below, go ahead and do that. And uh, send us an email, because uh, Rich loves getting emails. Rich at MightyHouse.net. Right. And what are we talking about today, Rich? This was uh, kind of your topic. You're going to run uh, the show. Cradle right? to Grave. Cradle, oh. the cradle to Grave. Oh, I just you mean think that Jet Li movie? Great... Is that what you're talking about? This, this movie right here, Jet Li? No. no. I like Jet Li and DMX. That's a cool. But no. No, we're not no. talking about Cradle to Grave. Okay. So you're talking about the no. BBC show, Cradle to Grave? Is that what you're going to talk about? <sighs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Home remodeling and improvement show. No. Oh, wait. Move. No, no. Okay. So, wait. What's the next one? Cradle to grave. There. Cradle to grave. That's what we're talking about, right? Yeah. This is yeah. not going to be a no. shit show. No. <laughs> this is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, let me guess. You're going to talk about this cradle to grave right there. Now you got it. That's there we it. Go. The three R's. Basically, the three R's. Fourth, cradle to grave. Fourth time's a charm. All right. Let's get going. Yeah. What do you got? Okay, so cradle to grave just truly means it's it's just a term used to describe a product's lifestyle. Okay, I mean, it could be a person for that matter. Sure. Thus the movie and the TV show, <laughs> but it's how a product is created, how it is used, and how it's either disposed or reused. Got it. Cradle to grave. So we want to jump in on one of those things that. When you're looking for a product, you know, if you're a specifier, uh-huh. you know, architect, interior designer, you know, whatever, uh, or even as a builder, design build, if you're specifying products, you think about cradle to grave. And most of us probably did it before the term came out, right? Right. You know, I would look at a piece of at, at something and you have two choices. I can build this out of wood. Actually, I actually have three. Wood. Steel right. or aluminum. Uh, okay. Right. Concrete. Four. Sure. But when you think about it, most people would frame. Right. Most people are going to get steel shutters or aluminum shutters, right? Right. But of all of those, wood is probably the the worst. Correct. Because would- it has no life. It's high energy dependence for harvest, creating it, shipping it. Right. Short lifespan. Yep. And if somebody would please explain to my wife that you don't put two by four blocks in the recycle bin. <laughs> she does it because paper's made from wood. Sure. That makes sense. She she thinks they're gonna take all the wood blocks and make more paper. I swear to God she uh-huh. does this. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I just no dear. I love her enthusiasms. But yes. But that's good. So, um, yeah. but if, if steel then could get recycled, uh, it, there's there's even the scraps, scrap wood. What are you gonna do? You burn it. it it's you know you it, it gets tossed exactly. in the dumpster. But if you're right. using steel studs, any of the scrap cutoffs that can get all recycled, and then you can make more steel studs with it. Exactly, or anything for that matter. Anything made of steel. I mean, sure. you know, every car that's been built since 1900. Yep. is still in another car. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not every piece, you know, I mean, let's not get crazy sure. here, but theoretically the metal in the car you're driving today could have been four previous cars. Sure. I mean, it could have been an aircraft carrier. It could be, you know what I mean? When they did the scrap drives through the two wars. Right. So it's really kind of crazy when you think about it, but if people don't realize items that are aluminum, you know, there's a, uh, a cup company out there, not to be mentioned, where it's right. a little cup, um, that now have the aluminum cups out. Yes, I've seen those. So the two plastic cups in front of us. These are plastic, dude. These are. Can you hear that? They're, they're... I couldn't reach mine. I couldn't reach mine. I, I was. Trying. It's close. But anyway, you get my point, though. If yeah. they're plastic cups, they're landfill. Right. If you're lucky enough to grind them up, you could make park benches. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the new ones that they have out now are aluminum, which is awesome. Have a party, recycle all the cups. Sure. It's better than going to a landfill. Yep. And, then it- and even if they cost a couple of cents more, because aluminum from uh, from ore does take a lot of electricity to make aluminum. Sure. But it is such an inexpensive metal to recycle. 
Right, and right. reuse, and it can be a reused thing. A, a, quite a bit. So right. that, that aluminum cup could be in your F-150 in, in a couple of months. That's right. So. Well, and Chevy went to the beds. They only did the beat on Ford commercials for one year. <laughs> then they went to the aluminum bed. Hold on, look, yeah. dead bird. Oh, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Made you look. Yeah. All right. So that's what we're talking about. So, like, you know, what is the product made of, right? So is it natural or man-made? How easy is it to, does it take a great bunch of energy to do it? or to produce it. So then another thing, like I said, is how long will it last? Right. So something made of wood typically can be a short period. And, and I'm, you know, again, you could argue this one way or the other. I mean, I know houses that are 700 years old. Sure. Still made of wood. Treated properly. Yes, it's good. Wood is good. Uh-huh. And there's nothing wrong with that then. But we are, especially in America, it's such a disposable society. Right. Yep. You know, the amount of stuff I see going into dumpsters on my job sites on a daily basis, it kills me. Yeah. Fortunately, I do know that those dumpsters don't go straight to landfills. It's all separated. Right. You, 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 you recycle that. So they go in, the dumpster gets dumped, they separate everything out. Oh, yeah. And then... Which my scavenger company that I'm paying to take these dumpsters away is making a killing off me. Uh-huh. Because my subs are already upcharging me for all the increase in material prices. Right. And then they're throwing the excess material in the dumpsters. And then my guys are salvaging it. The only one that's getting really screwed is me. <laughs> I'm paying for it in the front and the back. Sure. You're, you're paying to have it brought and, and leave the, the job yeah. site. Yeah. So anyway, so how long will it last? Uh, does it require a great deal of maintenance? So if I have two products, let's say I could do a post in wood or I can do a post in stainless steel. Right. Well, that wood post is going to require maintenance, waterproofing, staining, you know, protection, so on. Right. Stainless steel. Done. Right. Install so, the thing. So cradle to grave. That post, if it's something that needs to be there, that post could be there much, much longer. Right. And so. again, that can be recycled again and made into stainless steel for something else in the future. That wood post right. most likely is just going to get tossed in a dumpster. Could it be saved yes. and cut and reused for something? Sure. But the reality is yeah. most of it's not. If you just think about no. all the old barns that are out there and all that old barn wood that, you know, they just, the roof start leaking and then it starts rotting and it just collapses and it just lays in a pile and rots, you know, right. it could be salvaged and re reused, but people don't do that. So no, unfortunately, by the time they get round to it, it's usually too far gone. But I mean, obviously there are cases where barns have been salvaged and salvage woods out there and sure. hell even sink our logs, you know, but that's a whole nother Oh, kind yeah. Of thing. Yeah. Um, can, an, can, can, can the product be replaced easily? So, you know, like, again, if, if you need to, if you've got something that has a short lifespan or a difficult lifespan, and for me, it would be for here, it would just be plain old steel. If I just took regular steel rebar and stuck it in the ground here mm -hmm. in South Florida, then the weather would corrode that and it could fall apart in a matter of years. It starts rusting, expanding, and it blows everything apart. Right. Well, that sounds, you know, and if, if that's a, a steel reinforced concrete pillar or beam, you're talking some substantial money to fix all that. Right. I mean, there's a, uh, there's a condo on the other side of your state <laughs> that, that has, uh, has the real issue with that. So and yeah, that, and a lot of them do this coastal because you have salt water, you have concrete uh, that is porous and not sealed. I mean, even the houses we build down here, concrete block absorbs water. Stucco breathes, it, but and it but it doesn't really shed water. It'll still absorb it, but at sure. a slower rate than concrete block. So you know what waterproofs your house? Your primer. Oh, nice. And your paint. And the primers all say right on the can, two coats of this primer will stop wind-driven rain up to 150 miles an hour. Oh, wow. Yeah. And every painter I know down here primes a house once, then puts a coat of paint on. <laughs> so basically, you're stopping 80% of the water. So it's a matter of waterproofing and step ledges and so on. But that's a whole nother story. But it's sure. still not getting necessary to the structural steel. Correct. So that's a big thing. How can it be replaced? So I think the other side of it is what do you do with it at a product when it's finished? So we kind of killed it. You know, we've beaten this horse to death in some respects, but you know, two by four, I can pull it out of the wall. I can pull all the nails and screws out of it. You can't sell them. Uh, no, but can't we can reuse them. With them. 
and we reuse well, them because we take them apart right now because it's 12 bucks a two by four. It's worth sure. it to clean them. So if we've got full eight footers or, or you know, the, the 92 and five three eights, cuts or whatever, three cuts, we, we clean them and stack them up. And then the guys will take them for shoring and doing a bunch of other stuff that we do. Um, if we need a mm-hmm. couple of two by fours, we've got stacks of them here now because that's what we've been doing. Hey. And, and but you have houses that were built back in the 50s and they did not have uh, uh, lumber stamps on them. So you can't reuse them for framing because right. they're not graded properly. But I used to take those and we'd cut the bird's mouth and and uh, plum cut off of them. And I donate them to ranchers, not ranchers, but, uh, you know, people with horses. The people that have stables, the horse. horse yeah, that stables. was the word I was like, horse stables. Yeah. Yeah. Because some of the horses are yeah. cribbers and they eat them all up. So you just right. give them the two by sixes, you know, because most of the rafters were back in the day. Right. Yeah. We just do that. Uh huh. But they're getting reused so the horse can eat them and, you know. Then that's good. But that's, it's still a one shot deal, but it's still better than landfill. Correct. Correct. So that's good. So, so then you look into other products. So, like you said, can it be reused? That we do. Can some of it been a term? Have you ever heard this term upcycled? Yes. So, a lot of products that are made can be recycled, but only a limited number of times. Right. Right. So, I'm not into manufacturing business. There were some examples, but I mean, if you've got something that recycle it so many times and it becomes brittle or whatever, then That's you can upcycle it into something that is more permanent. I think, I think a good, a good example of upcycling would be milk jugs to park benches. Yes. Yes. So you've recycled it, but a park bench has a much longer life or even deck boards, you know, right. could have a longer life than that milk jug. Right. So you've upcycled that, you know, it's, mm-hmm. it's now being reused into another product. That's now going to last longer than the original product, what, you know, the milk jug, because that had a what short, it was intended for. Right. It was, yeah. it was only intended to be for maybe a month or so and then right. tossed. And so now we're taking that, putting it at a park bench. That park bench could sit there for 20 years, you know, and, exactly. and actually serve a Provide a service, so to speak. Correct. Yeah. So and then is that upcycling and or recycling going to take more energy, carbon footprint? than the original process. So again, I go back to aluminum right. you know, to, to get the ores out of the ground and refine it and smelt it and so on takes so much more electricity yep. than recycling aluminum that, you know, recycling truly is every bit of aluminum should be going back to a recycler, never to a landfill. And, and I seriously doubt that happens. Oh, sure. I, I, who knows what the percentage is, but I'm, I'll bet it's pretty low. You know, how many, yeah. how many beer cans actually make it back and get recycled? You know, so yeah, it's the way it goes. So, um, go ahead. Your last point. No, that's, that, no, but that was kind of my last thing. So all I'm telling is just telling you, you know, like think about cradle to grave when you're, you know, specifying products, shopping for something. Right. You know, I mean, even, you know, we talk about light fixtures. They're made of so many components, right? They're plastic, metal, aluminum, some gold plated tips, whatever it might be. Right. You know, but. I can buy this fixture for 40 bucks. That's good for a hundred thousand hours, mm-hmm. but this one is much, much cheaper, but it's only good for 10,000 hours. So if you spend a little more today, you're going to get a longer life cycle out of it. And most all the parts can be recycled, right? but not for, I don't have to worry about it for 20 years. Right. And you, I won't have to worry about it. For, so for, uh, for a faucet, if you buy a faucet, that's solid brass, and it's it's good quality faucet that's going to one last you a long time that can also then be mm-hmm. recycled. If you have a plated piece of plastic, they can't they can't recycle that. So now that gets tossed in the dumpster that goes out to the landfill. It's it's done. Yes, that only cost right. you fifty nine dollars, and you could have spent you know three hundred on the good brass one, but that brass one then can be reused. So if you can afford to do something like that in your selection process, then obviously you want to take advantage of that. Exactly. Perfect example. So that's that's Cradle to Grave. Cradle to Grave. Not the movie. Not the TV show. No. no. Not the movie. No. <laughs> not the TV show. But you're going to have Cradle me go Grave. check that up on, on Hulu or something. <laughs> I never heard of the... <laughs> there you go. Cradle to Grave. So with that, we'll say awesome. subscribe, hit, that, uh, hit the bell, leave us a comment below. And uh, if you've got any questions, send... Uh, a question or hit your questions at rich at mightyhouse.net and he'll get you Just all squared away. Just leave comments below. Yeah, then, then we'll both can answer them.
Sure, that's the way it right. works. All right. So with that, we'll say keep it square and level. Until, Until next time. time. Until next time. There you go. Thanks, Sonar. Good job, buddy. Yeah, that was good There you one. go. Boom, done. Where See, here I am. I thought I was going to get fatherly advice, and it turns <laughs> out that's just a recycling program. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just a recycling program. Just. <laughs> we didn't tell you how to change a diaper, dude. Oh, come on.